Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. Today, I will specifically be focusing on workplace experiences, and I will share some of my own. Sometimes people will go through many issues when they are working. Some of those issues are beneficial, and they actually grow us spiritually, mentally, and physically, but other issues will break you down if you stay in particular settings for far too long. Some of the workplace challenges that I've had to deal with over the course of my years were minute, but then there were others that were uh, quite challenging. Uh, some of them would include things like uh, having to deal with personalities that unfortunately uh, caused uh, much difficulty in the workplace. Uh, we're talking about individuals who were disgruntled with bosses and refused to leave because, well, I need the money and in some cases too lazy to look for another job. So basically they were looking to uh, sabotage uh, the workplace setting um, as well as those in it. So when situations like this happen, you find yourself having to rally up some support to uh, basically get the troublemakers out and to establish the type of workplace setting where people can thrive and grow and do the types of things that will uh, overall build morale, increase profits, uh, build up a client base and anything else that is needed in a workplace setting. One of the major issues that leadership tends to uh, have to deal with is related to money. Um, they're always looking to save money or to find something that uh, will just make the budget look a lot better, those numbers. But what tends to happen is, is that sometimes you can cut costs in such a way where you find yourself later on spending more money rather than saving. In other words, buying inexpensive equipment that will break down in less than five years or uh, going along with some type of uh, program that is going to make the company spend more money than what they should. Um, sometimes you will find that some businesses are not doing everything that they're supposed to do for the employees. And so you have disgruntled employees who stick around for maybe a year or less, and then they're on to another job simply because the systems are flawed or because there are too many problems, um, that are going on that have not been addressed. Uh, ineffective leadership, um, budget concerns, all of these sorts of things will cause all sorts of workplace challenges. I will tell you that the small things, though, will also create bigger issues. Things like faulty equipment, um, workplaces that are just far too busy um, to the point where people are not able to get work done. Um, critical bosses or bosses that are competitive, um, those that are ego driven, they can also cause uh, many difficulties in the workplace. Then, of course, you have a disorganized atmosphere where people are not putting papers back where they're supposed to or they're taking folks uh, <laughs> belongings and using them. Uh, then, of course, there are those issues of tardiness and people showing up when they feel like it. Um, that, of course, will um, affect uh, productivity. And then you have undecisive individuals who they cannot make a decision, and a lot of times they are passing the buck or coming up with excuses as to why they could not um, get things done. And then... Of course, you have those individuals who do not know how to show gratitude, something as simple as gratitude. When an individual does something for you or does something for the group, it would make sense to thank them and to, uh, you know, reward them when they are doing jobs well done. But you see, these little issues become bigger issues, and when they become bigger issues, uh, sometimes management has to make the hard decisions. How many times am I going to have to call you in the office to talk to you about A, B, and C? How many times do I have to follow up to find out if my order 
has been uh, completed? How many times do I have to sit down and go over uh, a system or a process with, you know, said individuals? Sometimes these things come up and then, of course, they will leave a bitter taste in your mouth when they are not dealt with, especially with companies that have uh, big money. You know, um, we're talking about big budgets. We're talking about companies that can afford to spend some money on quality equipment, Um, companies that can afford to bring in some mediators or, you know, some teachers who can be able to uh, show the uh, employees how to do their jobs better, even if uh, some folks don't have much time within the corporation um, to teach everything. You know, so the money a lot of times is there, but uh, it is used to do other things, things that um, will suit personal interests rather than the collective. So these are issues that um, happen in the workplace. And if we're going to put a spiritual twist on some things, you need to be in prayer. You need to be in prayer. Um, When it comes to positive things that happen in the workplace, we want to stay focused on those sorts of things because that's what's going to give us the motivation to keep coming to a job. It is also what is going to help us through every situation um, when we can just look at the good things, the positive things, the things that, you know, move us, the things that grow us. Um, some things that have inspired me over the course of my years were simple things like posters hanging on the wall that talked about success, that talked about, um, you know, overcoming obstacles and, you know, just positive quotes Uh, They helped during tough times. Um, Your workplace setting has to be organized. It has to um, just encourage uh, good work ethics and um, a clean atmosphere uh, is definitely crucial. Um, One that is well maintained. I remember working in an atmosphere where the air conditioning unit was um, quite cold and the vents were blowing on us in the in the cubicles, which of course was keeping many of us ill. Um, something as simple as turning the air ducts um, away from uh, the individuals is what uh, helped us, and so the sicknesses stopped. Which of course um, the call offs lessened as well. Um, it's paying attention to those little details um, to create that positive climate. And a lot of uh, managers, they overlook these sorts of things. Um, There is a passion that one must have to assist other people, whether you are assisting your coworkers or you are assisting others outside outside the organization. And a lot of times people, um, they have their own personal issues, they have their personality disorders, and a number of other things that keep them from genuinely assisting folks, wanting to help people. Um, instead, you get some individuals who will say things like, I don't have time right now, Uh, so-and-so can help you when they could help you. Um, There is a lot of excuse making and you tend to pick up that sort of thing with some individuals. Let's just be honest, helping people is uh, not everyone's strength. And so it would make sense not to be in the front line, but rather in the back office. Um, It would make sense to be the one in the office rather than on the main floor if you're not the type that enjoys assisting people. Positive attitude, walking into the atmosphere, not forcing a smile, but just genuinely having a countenance about you that says that I am an individual that can work with others. I am an individual that cares about people. I am a person that wants what's best For others, I want to uh, create a positive atmosphere, and I know it begins with me. These are the things that sometimes we lose sight of when we are working jobs for uh, any number of uh, months or years. And so it is reminding yourself that it's not about you, but it is about the team. It is about what you contribute to the team. Um, This working is not... Uh, something that is uh, 
uh, really designed to suit you, but it's more about suiting others. So it is at times a selfless uh, a job, you know, that one takes on where I'm not looking at my needs, but I'm looking at how I can help others achieve their goals. You see, and some people, once again, they lose sight of that. Professionalism, of course, is key. Um, I'm sure we don't need to go into uh, much detail about that. And then, of course, there are those opportunities for growth that arise and we don't pass on those. If a company wants to grow you by sending you off um, to take some classes or um, they want you to go to a, another city or state, welcome it because you just might end up meeting someone from corporate headquarters who, if you make a really good impression upon them, they may look out for you. Um, if particularly if something should arise on the job, you have already built alliances with those that um, may be in more powerful positions than your manager. Okay, so we don't deny opportunities uh, to move on or to visit places or to get additional training. We never ever say no to those opportunities. Um, and if we want to put a spiritual twist on this, we can say God may have set you up for that opportunity, believer. And so you take it and run with it. Um, as far as effective teamwork, we want that. And so we encourage it. If you are a positive person, you want the team to work together. You want the team to end the conflicts, the divisiveness, the excuse making, the passing the blame and all of those other things. And so you come up with necessary solutions to handle those matters without, of course, putting your personal uh, spin on things or your personal uh, selfish reasonings and things of that sort. Some uh, managers will do that sort of thing. They're more concerned about their self-interest rather than, once again, the collective. And then, of course, positivity, once again, will create a climate of positive people. Some folks, unfortunately, though, uh, will not subscribe to that sort of belief and they will be those problems that you just might consider in the future um, wanting to talk with management about. So there are many things that we can look at when it comes to a positive workplace. There are many things that you can sit back and think about when it comes to workplace challenges. I do suggest that you check out my blog, workplaceproblems.blogspot.com. There is some good content there to help you in your endeavors. This blog has been around for almost a decade. So I hope that those of you who are having all sorts of uh, Workplace woes will definitely be inspired by the blog. Check the labels out. There are many of them um, on uh, that site. Now, I will also tell you that when it comes to um, the workplace, notice where you are improving. Uh, you may have started off feeling quite confused about the workplace, uh, maybe a little bit um, disappointed, but then there were those areas that you, you know, took and you ran with them and you um, improved them and you saved the company money and you came up with systems that put a smile on the co-workers' faces, okay, on your employees' faces. Do uh, mention those if you plan on working for someone else and you're interviewing and so forth. Talk about those times where you helped individuals uh, accomplish goals. Talk about those new programs that you instituted. Talk about those times where you came up with some bright ideas and the leadership actually implemented them. Don't underestimate yourself. And when it comes to review time, if you are currently in a position, do remind your leadership what you have done. I will tell you, I've worked in workplace settings where people didn't mind taking credit for my achievements. And of course, that uh, angered me, I must admit. But what I did was it, I used it to motivate me to come up with it, even better ideas. And I also made sure that my name 
was displayed on those ideas and I also talked with others about those ideas so that people knew where they were coming from. So you don't need to just talk to one person about the things that you want to do. Um, when you have the opportunity to speak with uh, department heads and business owners, uh, make sure that you are talking about all of the things that uh, you have done and hope to accomplish. And in this way, credit will be given to the right individual at the right time. And hopefully that will be you. So I thank you so much as always for taking the time out to listen and to God be the glory.